A little while ago, I did an example of a while loop. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how the do while loop works in UiPath. So to do that, I'm going to create a brand new process. I'm going to call it the UiPath do while tutorial. Click create here. And when the project opens, I'm going to open up the main workflow. And I'm just going to drag a do while loop onto the workflow just like that. Right off the bat, it gives me uh, a little bit of an error message. You might see the red exclamation mark. Now, if you see a red exclamation mark, get your eyes checked because it's not a red exclamation mark. It's a white exclamation mark on a red background. But anyways, that's just a minor point. Uh, the reason that it's barking at me is it's saying, hey, you know, when you have a do while loop, there's supposed to be some condition that if it's true, the loop will keep going. And if it's false, the loop will exit. Um, and so I don't have a condition like that. Now I'm going to grab user input in this example. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a new variable and I'll just call it user input. It's a type string. It'll have scope for the, the sequence there. And you can see user input. And the condition which will allow the loop to continue is just whether the user input is equal to yes. And that's a yes to the question do you want to keep looping? And so the idea of a do while loop is that, first of all, the body of the while loop always executes. That's not true with a while loop. If the condition of a while loop is false, the while loop's body will never, ever get entered. With a do while loop, you always enter the body at least once. It's one of the key differences between a while loop and a do while loop. Now, we do have this condition to exit the loop, which is if the user input is not equal to yes, exit the loop. If it is yes, keep looping. And we have to have some way to manipulate or change that value in the loop. Otherwise, it just becomes an infinite loop and it'll just consume all of our clock cycles on the CPU. So to do that, I'm just going to drag a user input activity here. The dialog title will be um, UI path do while loop tutorial and the label will be do you want to keep looping and the input type I'll just make it a couple of radio buttons also you say yes or no and of course depending on whether the user selects yes or no the value of that choice in a string can be set to the variable user input so I'll just set user input there as the value. You can do that over in the results tab as well. And now when this runs, that value, yes or no, will update that user input value. And if it's yes, we'll keep looping. If it's not, we'll break out. You know what? I might even add a little message box at the top that just says, we are in the loop. It's always good to be in the loop because you don't want to be out of the loop ever. And it's going to click control S to save that. It's going to go up to the top there that you can see the beginning of the sequence. You can see the body of the loop. We are in the loop. We get the input dialog. Do we continue? Yes or no. And then if that condition is true, we keep looping. If not, we break out of the loop. Uh, the other thing is I need that user input variable declared. So I'm going to run the file. So just click run file. It says we are in the loop, right? Because you always enter the loop at least once with a do while loop as opposed to a while loop where if the condition is false, it'll never get entered. And now we see these radio buttons. You want to keep looping? Of course I want to keep looping. This is fun. I love UiPath do while loops. I could use these UiPath do while loops all day long. Okay, I'm tired of it. Now I'll click no. And there you go. The application terminates because the condition is now false. And there you go. That's how the UiPath do while activity works.